In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how we use TubeSift to find winning placements for our YouTube ad campaigns. More on that right after this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is TubeSift, and this is the tool that we utilize to find high-performing video placement opportunities for our YouTube campaigns. Now, this is really, we, we utilize this whenever we have an offer where we say, you know what, we've got a very niche following. We need to make sure that we're focused on ROI right off the bat. We're not necessarily concerned with scale right off the bat. We really wanna focus on the right audience, people who are actively involved in this, and getting to the point where we're just serving our ads on monetized content, which means we're not wasting our time putting a bunch of videos in that don't allow ads to serve. And it allows us to go essentially have a very sniper targeting approach to building YouTube ad campaigns. So what I wanna do is walk you through this. Essentially what we do is we go through and utilize keywords based on whatever offer we're running. So I'm gonna be talking, let's say we wanted to talk about YouTube advertising. So I'm gonna use the keyword YouTube ads. And let me just zoom in here on the tool a little bit so you can see what this looks like. And I wanna generate 50 results. Now this is gonna take a little bit, but what I wanna show you here is this is gonna go through, and what it's doing is number one, it's scanning a bunch of videos, but then number two, it's scanning, it's only gonna say monetize videos, what it's gonna to serve to us. So you'll see these numbers start to separate. So there's a bunch of videos that TubeSift is looking through that says, hey, these are great videos, but monetization's not allowed. So it's not gonna put them on our list because we can't actually advertise on them. And so this is gonna basically build this list for us of 50 videos that we can go through and really search through to say, which fit the criteria of the audience that we're targeting and which don't make sense here. And so we can build a placement list off of this. So I'm gonna show you a very small portion of what TubeSift can do specifically for the use case that we're talking about. But it can also help you look for channels, it can help you build placement lists, it can help you do banners for your companion banners, all kinds of stuff. It's really a great product. Uh, Justin Daniel Sardi is the guy who founded it. Um, great YouTube advertising mind. I would highly recommend that you come check this out. If you are doing any kind of YouTube advertising, he's built a great suite of tools to help you be successful. Um, but really at the end of the day, this is the piece of, we use it for placement research, is where we start everything off. Um, and, and I'll walk you through here in a second how we actually build this placement list. As you can see, we've scanned 80 videos and they found 44 that are monetized. So we're getting close to having a list of 50 videos that we can actually place ads in front of. So not a super long process, this will probably take what, a minute, minute and a half to find all these. And then what we're gonna do is come back in and start saying, figuring out who do we actually wanna target. So the way that I do this is you can come in here and essentially what you're doing, you're looking at different videos to say which ones make sense. So this is a great one for YouTube ads. If someone's looking for beginners, this is a great one to run. $5 YouTube ads, this is for channels. So if we're not trying to advertise to channels, if we're trying to advertise for products, probably wouldn't wanna include this one. Um, but you know, this is kind of the way we just come through here and look through these things and say, all right, we wanna select some of these and add these to the list. So this is not a great one, this is not a great one, this is great, um, Jason did a nice job with this one on the ads tutorial, this would be a good one, this one is not, I've looked at this, it has almost eight million views, but it's not really focused on YouTube advertising. Um, same thing right here, like this is one that's kind of hit or miss, it's more of a content style, um, and typically what I'm doing at this point is I'm looking to see, you know, the, the videos that are very targeted on our users, this one has 72,000 views, which is a pretty big number. Um, this one only has 618. So we're not gonna get a lot of delivery, but we're getting the right audience. And that's what this really boils down to for you. If you can find placements that have a ton of views and also really cater to your marketplace, that's gold. What I'm trying to find right now are any of these make sense. Well, this one does step-by-step -step YouTube advertising campaign tutorial, 11,000 views. I would definitely wanna add this one to the list. So we can see right here, you know, some of these things are in place. Um, what you'll do is essentially when you're just clicking on these, this is how you're going to add things to the list. So um, I would like to use the true view for discovery. That's something that's absolutely makes sense. The paid advertising tips. Sure. That one looks good. Um, I wasted $800 on YouTube ads. I would need to look into more into this one to see what the content is. So I can absolutely click play on that. Um, block all ads, not what we're looking for. Uh, campaign tutorial. Nothing about Disney. It doesn't make sense. This one's not what we're looking for. How to create your first YouTube Google Ads campaign. Yep, that's a good one. Um, making money without relying on YouTube ads. It's not what we're looking for because we want to be targeting people who actually are looking to run ads. This is a good one. Uh, multiple ads into a YouTube video. You could do this one. Uh, this one looks good because it's definitely a little bit more advanced. Google Ads video tutorials. Um, 
I love Jerry Banfield's stuff. He gets good uh, engagement, so it's definitely a good one to look at. He's focused more here. Um, ad revenue is obviously for channel owners, so I wouldn't include this one, but definitely a, a person that we can look at his channel to see if he's got anything that, that makes sense. Um, this is another good one by Jason. Um, and so the other piece that you'll see here, YouTube advertising costs is a great one, but you'll start to find channels that you may want to do to advertise on all that placement. So all of their channels, it could be a very good one to go after. Um, how to promote your YouTube video. This could be a good one. This may be um, a good thing if it's, you know, if it's a product video, but if it's just content, this may not be the right fit. So we may uh, not choose this one. This is really goes deeper into the selection process, but advertising formats is a great one. Surfside PPC is definitely something we could target their channel. There's only 2,200 views though. So this is kind of that piece of figuring out what's the number of views, what are the hot ones, uh, what do we really want to go after? So let's say I've got that together. I'm just going to come up here and click add to list. Um, and this will be uh, YouTube ad placements. I'll click add. And so now if we go into our placement list, we should have YouTube ad placements. We can just come in and get the links. Um, we can export it, add those into a placement list. But essentially at the end of the day, that's how this tool works. It allows us to go through and easily uh, identify and then segment which videos are going to be the right fit for our placement campaigns. So uh, if you have any questions, please put them in down below in the links. You can always ask me in Pro League if you're in Ad Skills Pro League. Uh, we can talk through the needs for your campaigns and help you figure out which videos to start with. But I love TubeSift. It's an awesome tool. I highly recommend if you're focused on generating really high ROI campaigns. Uh, you're not going to get a ton of serve. You know, you're not going to get your ads to serve millions of times. I'm used to the big run of network, massive campaigns. So this is whenever I need to do sniper targeting and really get in there and focus on exact videos that may have enough traction for us to get the right customers. This is the tool that I depend on for that. So if you have any questions, uh, let them in the link below. Otherwise, have a good one. Talk soon. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button on the screen right now. Also, if you'd like to join the Daily Edge and get the daily dose of what's working in paid traffic and tracking, you can text Daily Edge to 44222.